2024 Met Gala, and the theme is Garden of Time. Let's talk about it. This is Rich Lives with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube. We have all the fashion looks that are going to have you shook. We're going to break down some of the celebrities' best and worst dress on the runway. Now, for 2024 Met Gala, the theme is Sleeping Beauties reawakening fashion. For those who don't know, the Met Gala is a art institute slash museum where tickets start at around $30,000, $50,000, I believe. But mainly, and even more money for to get a table. Ariana Grande did perform, surprisingly, and this opens up the new exhibit of the whole garden theme. So let's see if some of these celebrities got it right. Sleeping Beauties, reawakening fashion. I don't understand that, but the theme is that and the garden of time. So the Met Gala runway of the stairs was like this greenery. Now let's talk about my makeup. Okay, so first of all, this is the look I got on. Okay, so this is giving you that. Oh, can I get a like for the makeup and the fashion girl? Okay. I would probably be the only one at the Met Gala wearing a full fashion from Sheen, okay? What's up? All right, so first on the chopping block for me, we're gonna be talking about Lizzo. Yep, no one say anything negative about Lizzo because you know she's gonna quit the internet and quit her music industry like she said before, allegedly. So don't say anything negative about Lizzo. You guys, if you know, you know. She tends to get upset with negative comments and wants to run away. It's like, girl, you're a celebrity. You have millions of dollars. People are gonna say something negative about you. Don't quit your job. It's part of the gig, girl. So anyways, when I saw this look, I have to say, in my opinion, that this probably is the worst look that I've seen in a while. That I've seen Lizzo wear, and I've also seen on the Met Gala. She doesn't look comfortable in it. She looks unhappy, and I don't know, it looks like a douchebag. I don't know, literally. I just don't like what she looks like in this outfit. And it needs to be bigger. It didn't hit because this thing at the top that she had around her neck, it should have just been even bigger than what it was. The silhouette of the bodice was great. I thought that was very fashionable. It was nice. It's just something about the arm area, the way it hugged this part, and then the hair. The hair, let's talk about hair and makeup. The hair, uh, the makeup eh, was good, but it's just this quaffy thing that's up like it looks like that thing from Jurassic Park that like spits stuff out it looked like it was kind of given that but it got like cut off on the sides like so I have to say Lizzo on the chopping block no ma'am now this dress on the runway looks very beautiful you guys know who she is leave in the comments down below if you do know to help other folks um and the back of the dress I found it more interesting the back was absolutely fabulous that back part Oh, you guys see that? If I had the doll hairs, that is amazing. All right, so next up, Kylie Jenner. Now, Kylie Jenner, this dress was very simple. Is it given Garden of Time? It, it's given something that she was gonna wear for her Cosmic Fragrance launch, and she was like, let me just throw this on. And you guys know that these people, they get on, they walk the red carpet with these crazy dresses, and when they get off the carpet and their photos are taken, they're gonna go, they're gonna take it off. Oh, take, get me out of this. Let me switch into something more comfortable so they can watch the concert and enjoy the show. And then boom, fashion. Kylie Jenner's dress was very basic. It was nice, it was very put together, clean lines, asymmetrical, but it wasn't giving drama. The Met Gala is a place to give the drama. It is something that should not be worn practical. It is not something that should be of fantasy, but of out of this world, crazy. Push the button. And this was very basic and boring the house. Some people do understand the assignment, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but this is the time that the world stops for about three seconds, if that, probably one second, if that, and we look to the Met Gala and some of these people who are arriving. And this is the time to really shape it up. Shake up the game. Now, I believe this is Zendaya. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I think that there's something missing, and we've seen this before. It seemed very hokey pokey. Like, we've seen her dress better, but I don't like this one. Now, this next dress here, that's cute. I'm not mad at it. I would definitely wear that going down to the Asda or the Whole Foods, you know, something like that. Going down to the CVS to get a pack of cigarettes around 3 in the morning. Very, very that. Very that. This is very, very simple. And then um, I might <laughs> I might purposely mix up the names just to be shady. But Madonna looks so 
in another color. I would have loved to see this in another color. I think if I would have seen this in another color, this would have been, like, it, give me a black and white. Give me the drama. Give me something like that. I, I would have loved it. Give me something, a fabric or color that we haven't really seen before, but this is giving a couch, you know, a curtains of the old lady's house and we put this together. I don't necessarily like it, but I do like the silhouette and the dress. I just don't like the color. The color scheme could have been way better. All right, next up, this was a really interesting dress here too. It looked better in person than it did in video and photos, but it almost looked like like uh, like silk, frozen ice, it, it looked like that. It's giving a uh, frozen, let her go. Let it go, I'm frozen. It's kind of what it's giving. These celebrities who attended the Met Gala need to fire their stylists ASAP. Now the theme this year was supposed to be garden theme. And I hate to say it, but putting on a form-fitting silk dress and then throwing a flower in your hair and calling it a day is not gonna cut it. Next up, we have Ariana Grande, and I have to say, I am so disappointed with this look. I feel like this dress is just so plain and so basic, and it's giving bridal. I don't know who approved this look. This dress is making me think of like a piece of toilet paper stuck to the bottom of my shoe. That makes me sad, because Mindy Kaling is so damn beautiful. I just would have loved to see her in something a lot more colorful and bright. I almost love this for Ed Sheeran because I feel like Ed Sheeran is like the anti-celebrity. So coming to the Met Gala dressed up like the guy from Dumb and Dumber, it's kind of a slay. But while I do like this look and I do love the hair, I just don't see how this fits in with garden theme and I'm a little bit let down by the Kardashians this year. I feel like each year at the Met Gala, they're pushing the envelope and doing something really interesting and unique and this year they just kind of fell flat. And last we have, oh, I hate to say this, Pamela Anderson, who is like the most stunning and sweet human being ever. But this color on her is just gonna be a no for me, dog. Then we have Lil Nas X. Okay, Lil Nas X, he brings it to you every time. This right here is giving H&M vibes a house, is giving I order something on Sheen and it's too big. It is giving like I was shopping on Wish.com and Fashion Nova and I thought it would be my size, but it came so big. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's giving that. It's, just, it's giving like the Kanye West bum collection. That's what I see with this right here. I don't necessarily like it. Then this right here, this woman with the drapey thing over her head. I like the dress, but I don't like whatever that to keep the flies away. That part I don't necessarily care for, but it is interesting. Like I am talking about it, so I was drawn to it. Then another Zendaya thing that was cute. We have a full body one. But, you know, we've seen this makeup from her before and it's something about the makeup that's kind of didn't put it together. I think if it was a lighter color, I would have liked it. Like, I don't understand the whole dark vibe, you know. It's like, oh, yes, let's go dark and edgy. Like, no, I didn't like that. Then Jennifer Lopez shows up once again to the Met Gala. This is her 100th Met Gala. She done walked the runway for, girl. I believe that Met <laughs> Jennifer Lopez does not get invited to the Met Gala, but she buys her own ticket. Like, she gets invited most of the time, but the time that she does it, she's like, she buys it. It's almost like, don't invite J-Lo because she's going to buy her own ticket anyway. Because she has to be seen. She wants to, she wants to walk the red carpet, so... You know. So Jennifer Lopez literally has walked every red carpet known to man and it's getting to the point where it's like we don't even notice her because she's there all the time. She can bring out stunning amazing looks but it's like eh we've seen her before. With that being said when I see Jennifer Lopez in this silhouette and this gown it's a beautiful gown. This is something that I would wear to casino night. This is something that I would wear to a very dramatic dinner. I wouldn't necessarily wear it to the Met Gala. And I say this because this dress right here is very B for basic, okay? Just like her career, so like that, I'm joking. But like she should have brought drama. Jennifer Lopez fails to bring the drama of a dress and she has the coin tatas to bring it, but she doesn't. This should have been a long train that would wrap around her for miles and 11 men would have to carry it in just to her to sit there and take a picture. And she doesn't give us that. I don't understand why. It's like she's so obsessed with being beautiful that she can't get out of her own mind and say, let me think of something that will be so dramatic that people are going to be shook and talk about this for days. And that people will say, this dress is the dress that Jennifer Lopez wore to the 2024 Met Gala. And this dress is just not any dress. This dress, when it walked the red carpet, people were stunned. And that's the night the lights went out in Georgia. And I want you to know, and your children's children to know, that this dress was worn by Jennifer Lopez. And we never get that type of vibe from her. We never get that level of ostentatious and drama from her. She's always gonna give you, look at my body, body, body. Stop relying on that body, Jennifer Lopez. Okay, next. 
Okay, Lady Gaga showed up. Ah, uh, she's giving like Bowser from like <laughs> Super Mario. You know what I'm talking about? King Koopa type vibe. So it's very much that. Okay. Then we have uh, Doja Cat. Doja Cat, it just seems like a wet towel. You know, you know Doja Cat is going to give you something stupid and irreverent. And that's what we got here. But I'm just like, eh, not, whatever. To me, Cardi B brought it to the runway. I don't necessarily like that it was all black. I mean, can we get something more fabulous? I mean, it's like, come on. It's like, why when you tell, it's like that one time, like a friend of mine was like, I'm having a party and the theme is high fashion, couture, but like not Met Gala, but like more high fashion runway, but like not New York Fashion Week, but like simple and A-line symmetrical. Like what? What are you talking about? So this dress right here, honestly, is in my opinion, uh, busted the house. I don't necessarily like this dress. I like the drama that she brought, the hair, the hat, the makeup, she had, I think, 11 men bring it in to set that whole thing down. It was a whole moment. I just wish it was a different color. I wish it was that color that is like, changes color with the lights. I wish it was that, but we didn't get that in this situation. Okay, next up we have, um, you guys know who this is. It's giving mariachi, I've seen this before. It's giving like homage to like Spanish culture. I like it, but like I've seen it before, Born in the House. Then we have Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj brought it to the runway. I just wish the hair was like a light pink or like a lavender, something like that. I do, really do like, she ate this one. This dress is beautiful. I wish we would have had like a reveal where it would have been something else and she tears it away or have several men tear it away and then we're met with this. But it's giving like if Tinkerbell had a sister, that like that, it's kind of giving that. I like it. And that's another thing. Like, I just feel like someone should have came out in full camp, like Tinkerbell kind of drama. Like if Tinkerbell did the Met Gala, I would have liked that. But this is cute. I love the flowers and I love everything about this. Okay, next thing I want to talk about is the fact that Beyonce showed up to the Met Gala and she looked like a crow with the cowboy hat or cowgirl hat, however you want to label it. I just don't like it. It looked good at certain angles, but it was just giving black tights with something sparkly and a cape that had feathers on it. It was nice, but it was giving like if Maleficent <laughs> did country. And I was sitting there and I was like, I don't necessarily like this look and it's giving too like negative energy, scary, spooky, ooky. Like it's, if it was Halloween, I think it would have hit harder. But this was like a total flop for me. Then to me, the one who took my breath away, Kim Kardashian, she had this beautiful dress. And honestly, I could tell that this woman has not ate carbs in a while for this red carpet. Cause that's how good she looked. The waist was so cinched that you know she couldn't breathe. Like a paper cut would have killed her. And then she had like this, like this sweater, this gray sweater, like cashmere sweater, looks so beautiful. And she kept wrapping it around and holding it and getting it and wrapping it around. And I can't help but to feel that the energy of Marilyn Monroe came back to her in this situation because this was truly a breathtaking look. And it was like, I can't breathe, but I'm so cold that I'm have this, it was, it was good. Like it told a story and it looked better in video than it did in pictures. In pictures, it did it no justice, but the video was amazing and I really was shocked by this. Now, I this, these are some of the looks that caught my eye. There are many, many other amazing people who walked the runway, but this is just the ones I just wanted to highlight. It's Meg Gala Monday, let's get it, let's go. First up, we have Anna Wintour. One thing about Anna, baby, she gonna give us nothing. Like, girl, it's your event. Like, get fly, get cute. Like, what is this? Then we have Bad Bunny. One of my favorite male looks. Setting the standard. Showing the guys how to do it. Staying on theme. Tens across the board. Next, we have Ashley Graham. I love this look. It's super cute. Super chic. I just don't think it's on theme. Um, so maybe for a different carpet event. Because it's, like, kind of giving me, like, poster girl vibes. Um, but I'm not sure 100% who's the designer. But I, I love this look. I love the hair. I love this for Ashley. Just not for the Met Gala. Next up, we got Lala Anthony. Chop. I hate it. I hate it. Next up, we have Emma Chamberlain. She's in a custom JPG from the 2003 collection. Beautiful. I love it. One theme. Give her her 10. She'll definitely be invited next year in my book. Next up, we got Jessica. I honestly didn't think it can get any worse, but it did. Honey, what is this? 
<laughs> this is actually really insulting to the Met Gala, cause baby, what? Ah! <laughs> I don't know if this is that day or Avatar, baby. I got scared. <laughs> See, I can never give you a tens, cause I don't like you, and I gotta keep something negative. So I give you an eight and a half. My bad, Zendaya girl. You know I live for a good Margella moment. You just kind of scared me a little bit. But you on theme, girl. You on theme. It's like some of y'all don't even try. Uh, like, what is this? Uh, you could have stayed home. Uh, you could have stayed home. For real. Now you pissing me off. For her first Meg Gala, she's played it so safe. I actually love it. I love this look. This is so her. This was great. This was amazing. This was actually one of the best looks to me. Now, some of y'all play entirely too much. Y'all play too much. This is AI. This not real. This gotta be AI. Because what is this? Honestly, everybody can go home. Y'all can go home. Y'all can go home. The Barbie's here. The Barbie is here. Y'all can go home now. I love this dress. I really just hate the hair. I wish she would have did a different hairstyle. Mona ate this so bad, baby. She ate. I'm so bored with the men this year. Like, was Tom Brown the only person that y'all could get pulled from? Like... It was just a lack of originality, like no sourcing, like repetitive, seen it before, retired. This would have this would have been more our brand last year had y'all did this last year. Harris Reed ate this so bad. This was so good. This was actually too good. Like Harris tens. Simplistic like her, always a ponytail, never want to switch her hairstyle up, no accessories, like born chop. Because it's um, Margiela by John Galliano, I'm going to let her slide. But how many ribs did you take out to fit in this dress, boo? Because she looked extra snatched. One of my favorite looks of the whole entire night, Demi Moore. Ugh, this was just so good, so on theme, baby. You will always be famous, like... This was chef kisses. It's, you know what, Serena? It's not even your fault. I'm calling the police and they're on their way to arrest the designer and the stylist because they sat there and played in your face and stuff. And I'm not going down for that. You deserve so much better. You got too much money. I give her hmm, a 7.5 because I saw the reference. Now, if I didn't see this reference picture, she probably would have got a 5. I'm not sure who this is, but she ate this so bad. Tens. Kylie pissed me off because, and Kim, because how y'all let the born sister outdress y'all? Givenchy, Alexander McQueen, Fall Winter 1999. How? How did y'all let her eat y'all up like this? Hmm. Hmm. Jail. <laughs> Is this AI or was, was this like her look for real? Like, no funny shit. Like, I'm just curious. Because, like, they be AI and, like, people face, like, they AI Katy Perry. So, I just didn't know this was her for real. That I lied, that caught my attention, that social media kind of, like, pinged to the top of my my inboxes. And, of course, I'm pretty sure there's others, so no disrespect. But, you know what? I wish there was a Met Gala. And I really do wish that this was a thing. Uh, right now, you guys, I love autobiographies. I love memoirs. And I love reading them and listening to them on, on you know, whatever. Um, Andre Leon Talley, The Chiffon Trenches. I have it right here. I'm listening to it. Andre Leon Talley was such a pinnacle person, black pinnacle person in the fashion world of Vogue and Anna Wintour and Karl Lagerfeld. If you guys don't know, Andre Leon Talley was often seen at every runway show, front row. He was larger than like this big heavy set guy that would just wear the chiffon coats and the drama of a cape and he would sit there and he would just watch the show. Andre Leon Talley was fashion for years and he put in a lot of work and time and energy and he loved black culture and black people in fashion and I feel like Anna Wintour and Vogue owe it to him to give him a Met Gala. Category is Andre Leon Talley and I'm telling you this man has been in music videos. I think Mariah Carey was one. He was always in Paris. It was, it was just, I just wish, I mean, we did, like, I got my dream of having a Met Gala theme be Karl Lagerfeld. We did that already. I just wish we got a theme for Andre Leon Talley, Met Gala. I, I wish I could, I wish I would see it. Ah, drama. Anyways, let me let you go. I thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, leave a like, leave a comment too. Y'all stop being shady. Okay, bye.